Which part of the stump do you reckon we want to be aiming at when we're throwing the ball? Yeah, Ruth. The base. The base, good. OK, so why do we want to be throwing the ball at the base of the stump? I think hobbies are something that you enjoy and you love doing, and I, I do, I enjoy and I, I love doing it. I try and make the skills and the, the drills almost so that every kid is able to do it to a good standard. And so you do have to develop it, always thinking, where can I improve? He's quickly identified children that need a little bit of extra support and gone and interacted with those children. It's not brash, he doesn't shout. Uh, he's as enthusiastic as the children. I think that's key. It rubs, I think that rubs off on the children. They see him enthusiastic. He's having fun, and so the children have fun. Are you ready? Point your front arm, front foot towards the target. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, oh yes, fantastic, well done. Rich, uh, I think, uh, has got everything to become a very, very good coach. He's very good at sort of working with the kids and getting down to their level. He's very clear the way he explains things, uh, both technically and tactically. So, uh, yeah, he's, he, he's looking good so far. Is you're trying to infuse and excite children. You're, you're, you're trying to make them interested in sport, and he does that. He does that so well. The adaptability that he's shown has been, uh, you know, fantastic, and has carried him through really well. As you say, you know, in a school setting, he's fantastic. Getting the kids going, getting them enthused. When you're coaching children at, at any level, you have to gain their trust. You have to go, gain their confidence, and he has successfully done that with all of my children. Richard's been marvellous. Once uh, he was sort of contracted, if that's the right word, to come and go into the local schools and really develop that interest in the children to come and play, not just at school, but, but get involved in a club environment. Richard's enthusiasm has shone through and his calmness. All right, let's just recap. So what do I do with my non-throwing arm? Good, so you point it at the target. Starting to really um, be able to use his questioning skills well, um, take time out of the game to analyse things and, and just finding the right question at the right time and that's a, a really difficult and complex skill, um, but one that I think he's really developing well. I would love love to make a career out of it, hopefully doing a disability course over the winter um, with, through Froster and through Active Gloucestershire, getting some funding from Sport England and uh, Sport of Eight, so looking to set that up over the winter. There's so many, so many aspects to cricket training that Richard knows and how to bring the best out of the children. They just have great fun. He's a young man, still learning his craft in many ways as a coach. Um, but yeah, the fact that he's able to diversify, able to adapt to the different situations, the different um, groups that he's working with, I think that's what marks him out as a really talented coach and, and one with a really bright future. Honoured really, I, I didn't, um, didn't expect it at all. Yeah, really, really happy.